do everything in my power so I can get you another resolution as well, okay? Okay. Can you CC me on the email so that I know that it's happening and I can, you know, be involved in the correspondence? Um, this is only used, you know, I can only use this for, it's only for internal users, so I wouldn't uh -huh. be able to send you a copy of it. Okay. But still, I mean, I want to save your information, you know, within email. So in case I have something else I have to tell you, so I'll just, I'll just give you a call back again, okay? Can I email you? Can you email me? Is there a way that I can be looped into something here? Because what happens for me as a customer is that I'm on the other end of this 800 number with nine, nine different digits to type in, and every day there's a different person I speak to. So like there's no continuity in terms of someone taking you know, taking ownership and responsibility and accountability to get this handled. And maybe you will do that, Jack. I really hope, you know, I want to believe your words and it's nothing against you personally, but my experience with budget has not shown me that that has been the case and, and not, has, hasn't been true. But as far as it goes, all I can provide you is a case number. So apparently uh, she did send this over so we can actually listen, uh, pull up the call and listen to it. But so far, I don't see an answer. I don't see a response. Right. When was I the call? Right now. Can I ask you, when was the call? being pulled requested it was on april the first right and they told me five business days and today is what exactly april 24th right, 24th. right. so I, I don't understand what what the holdup is there i mean I, I can't do your job for you and i'm not i'm not the one to actually pull up the call and listen to it sir Right, but that's the problem. See, nobody takes responsibility at budget. Everyone says it's somebody else's job. Right, because the first call you, we have on here recorded to us from the 31st, March 31st, and that's the time you're in the rentals. Or the but you can't say that to me because you haven't pulled the calls that you said you were going to do on April 1st. So, I mean, I can send this over again, sir, but for my rentals, this is a valid charge, sir. And it's not a valid charge. It's absolutely not valid. Pull the call. Three to five business days. Let's see if you guys do it. You told me that once before. Okay, sir. So the dates and the times you called in. Excuse me? The dates and the times you called in. What about it? Well, I need the dates and the times. So I did give it call. to you. You guys are supposed to have pulled the call. You should have it in the notes there. Well, I mean, that's why I'm asking this again to you directly, sir, so I have it correctly. Well, why don't we verify what you have there so that we know that someone is actually checking it? So it was sent over through upper management directly, sir, so I don't have access to that information. <laughs> How is it not on my case? I don't understand that. I mean, it is not. I mean, otherwise, I wouldn't be asking for it, sir. Okay. Well, then, why didn't anyone pull the call? I don't I don't understand. Like, nobody's doing their I job mean, there. We're limited. Right here, we're limited when it comes to staffing, sir. So, probably the one who was supposed to pull up the call uh, was, or request a call is not available right now. Okay. But why would that information be lost on the file? Because they have different email addresses, sir. So she probably sent it over to his to her email and didn't place it on the notes. Why wouldn't they do that? Wouldn't they not be doing their job appropriately then? Uh, sir, I mean, I'm just asking for the dates and times. I understand, so, but I'm, I'm just trying to make sure that people. I'm trying to make sure that people are doing their jobs over there and doing it properly that's because, that's because you know, you're telling me everything's valid, but you can't verify it, can you? Well, it is valid because we have a signed contract, sir. As simple as that. I never signed a contract that said I would spend four thousand two hundred dollars to drive across the country. I never signed anything like that. Yes, you did, sir. You no, did I didn't. Sign a contract for a round trip. Since you returned to a different location, the contract was voided. So it is a valid charge, and we have a signed contract. You do not have a signed contract of me agreeing to that. No, you don't. Budget claims we have a signed contract and also claims the contract is voided simultaneously, which of course is absurd. Here is our quick follow-up call. Why haven't they pulled the call and listened to it? They were not able, able to find the file, sir. We talked about this yesterday. Okay, well, you told me that they said that all the calls from March are missing? I mean, most of them, not all of them. So, but why is why is the one that I called in conveniently missing? I can tell you the exact time uh, that I called and date. Well, let me thank you again for the time, sir. I'm really sorry we were not able to provide another resolution. And me thank too. you for being part of budget. Okay, have a great day. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll be patronizing you guys real soon.